guys, I'm Kristen with the Cast King Channel. <laughs> no way. No way. Oh my god. Oh my I just god. pulled it out of this out of the oh fishing pond. Ew, gross. <laughs> Hey fishing friends, I'm Chris of the Casking Channel and today we went out on Grand Slam Charter with Captain Tom Michaleski. We got to try out some new rods. They're the Inshore Estuary Series and I caught my first striped bass on this and it was 40 pounds and it was incredible. I was jumping up and down. It was so much fun. Captain what, Tom. What's the best part? What was the best part? You released it. I, I got to release it. Yes, that was the best part. I got to walk through right that little... the door. Woohoo! Beauty! All right. Oh, Give it girl. to me! Hey. High five. That was dope. <laughs> We've got a little striper door over here and we just kind of hold him out, make sure he's, you know, doing well and send him on his way. And she, sorry, I learned today, also from Captain Tom, that the very large striped bass are females. Um, what? Almost, every, almost every bass over 20 pounds is a striped bass. Every 20 pound striped bass is a female. Very okay. rarely do, they, do the males get any bigger than like 36 inches. Wow, okay. So we females have, have the run of the sea. That's it. Yes. <laughs> what else can you tell us about striped bass and the conservation that y'all practice? With? Well, as you saw today, we had no shorts whatsoever. So we easily, you know, if I had 10 people on, uh, eight people on a boat today, or I think we had eight, we could have kept eight fish. Eight fish, 35, 40 pounds, that's a lot, a lot of fillets. It's, so it's completely unnecessary. I mean, even, even if you have a, you're allowed one fish 28 inches bigger in, in New York waters. And a matter of fact, it's like that in most states except for uh, New Jersey, I believe, uh, where they were allowed a bonus fish. And, you know, uh, the big fish, a 40 pound is probably 15 years old, a 50 pound is probably 20 years old. Um, those are the ones, the 30s to the 50s, those are the ones that are really the, the prime spawners. Um, a, a 30 pound that can spawn 3 million eggs, a 50, 60 pound that can spawn 6 million eggs. Some people are going to tell you that once they reach a certain age, they don't spawn anymore. And I've talked to several scientists about this, and the, the striped bass will successfully spawn for as long as they live. The bigger the striped bass gets, the more robust and more likelihood that those eggs are, are likely to even survive once they are spawned and fertilized. The bigger the egg, the more likely that that larvae is going to survive. And I get into this argument all the time. People say, ah, the 40s and 50s, they don't spawn anymore. And the scientists say no. And I'm going to say this. They've caught fish 50, 60 pounds. I think Maryland even got one 92 pounds in the Chesapeake Bay while they were doing a survey. Those fish are not going to go up into fresh water where they spawn. Striped bass are like salmon. They live their life for the most part in salt water and they spawn in fresh water. Those big 50s, 40s, and 60s, they're not gonna go into that fresh water just for fun. They're going up there because they're going to spawn. The big ones, 50 pounds or more, they probably don't spawn every year. Why? Maybe it takes them two years to, to, to get six million eggs developed. But then they, even other ones don't, don't spawn all the time. For the most part, a 28 inch fish is about seven years old and it's, probably 60 70 percent spawning by the time they reach 32 inches that's when they all start spawning so the highest percentage of, of spawning females in the, in the population are probably fish from 32 to 45 inches okay so it's really important to make sure we keep the breeder fish in the water and always just take take what you need but not like all the fish you know just some people like to keep everything they catch you know, I, just, I mean I, I take out people they come with me once a year they're going to take home a fish. Yeah. There's six of them. They're only fishing me once a year. They each take a fish. Well, you you yeah. can't knock somebody for that. But yeah. take one fish for the entire year. But if, if you are, don't abuse it. You can't sell these fish legally in New York unless you have a, a license. And um, I see a lot of people, too. You noticed how fast we got those fish out. We, we got them back in the water very quickly. You know, if you are going to take a lot of pictures and once you start holding them up a lot, you know, you, you kind of, you, you're playing the odds. Luckily, every fish we released went right out the door and straight down. The longer you keep them out of the water, the more likelihood that you might have a problem releasing them. Right now, the water's still a little cool. It's like 64, the, 64 degrees in Montauk. Once it gets above 70, they've done studies that it's harder for fish to be released. So keep that in mind, and it's also harder to release bigger fish in fresh water than it is in salt water. 
those are studies that we've done. And we use circle hooks today. Every one of the fish is hooked with. Right, right in the corner, corner of the mouth. Nothing was down deep or anything like that. You Nothing know. was swallowed. You have to respect these fish. It has to be a catch or release fish. Who's going to catch one and then go home? New York State laws say you're one guy on the boat. You can keep a fish. You're supposed to stop fishing. Because once you put another fish in the boat, you are in possession of two fish. That is New York State law. So if you got six guys on a boat, you got six fish, and now you're you're fishing. You continue to fish. You put one in. You're over. You're over the limit again. I'm not saying it's right, but that's the law. So just be aware of that. Captain Tom, thank you so much for taking us out today. I had the most fun I've had in a really long time. It was and a pleasure. thank you so much for putting me on my first drive back. You're probably about the thousand person that has put their first drive back in the last three uh, years or so. I'm so glad to hear that. And thank you so much for allowing us to get our fish back into the water so they all survive and can continue to grow and populate our seas. Which is really gotta, important. Gotta take care of it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and leave us a comment if you have anything, any thoughts about striped bass or conservation, catch and release practices. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you again to Captain Tom for putting me on my first striped bass. That was so amazing. And to Grand Slam Charters. They're awesome. Definitely check them out if you're ever in Montauk. Thanks, guys.